dear students in this video we are going to discuss very very important antenna parameter that is effective aperture area or antenna aperture area and uh, will bring a very very most important relationship between directivity and effective aperture area effective aperture area Now, today we will discuss another product and in the culture. It is also called as the culture. The or it is also called as the effective area. For example, what is meant by this? Okay, for example, if this is the total antenna, if this is the total physical size, this is the physical size of an antenna. In this, for example, only this portion is receiving effectively the electromagnetic waves. Okay. This portion is receiving the electromagnetic waves effectively this portion. And remaining what about this portion? This portion is not receiving effective. Okay. So among the total portion, among the total portion which is receiving uh, effective, that is called as effective. Okay. This is called as effective area. Always the effective area is less when compared to the physical. Always the uh, effective area is always less when compared to the physical area. The effective area is less when compared to the physical area. Compared to the physical area. Okay. So, what is the definition of an effective aperture? So, uh, the definition of an effective aperture area is um, it is is the ability of an antenna. The ability of an antenna to extract to extract energy extract energy from electromagnetic electromagnetic. So this is one definition of antenna aperture. So this is one definition of aperture. Okay, next. The other definition of antenna aperture is uh, it is also defined as it is also defined as over received. The load power saving the load to the average power density, the average power density at the point that effective area for aperture efficiency A is also defined as power receiving the load to average power density at that point. So therefore. A is equal to B received by B average. B received by B average. Effective aperture media is equal to A is equal to B received by B average. Okay. So, in, okay, in other words, the effective aperture uh, is an area which extracts energy from the Electromagnetic waves out of the total area of an end, out of the total area of an end. Okay. So let us bring an important definition of the relationship between the directivity and uh, effective aperture. A very, very important uh, derivation. Uh, relation. Let us bring the relationship between. 
relationship between so very very useful and the most important derivation relationship between directivity and effective aperture area a okay so now let us consider an antenna okay so let us consider for example this is my door okay this is my antenna so this is my antenna this is my antenna let us consider the electromagnetic waves are coming in this direction. Electromagnetic waves, direction of the electromagnetic waves are coming in this direction. So, the equivalent circuit is equivalent circuit is if ZL is there, ZT is there. Okay, so this is the equivalent circuit. Circuit okay. So let us assume a receiving antenna. So say this is let us consider this is my receiving antenna is placed uh, in the field of plane polarized by version of Okay, having effective area A. Okay, and the receiving antenna is a uh, Hertzian dipole terminated at so I have considered the receiving antenna is a Hertzian dipole terminated at low distance. ZL. Okay, so ZL is equal to ZL is equal to load impel R plus J XL. Okay, so according to the maximum power transfer theorem, according to the maximum power transfer theorem, maximum power will be transferred from the antenna to the load if impedance is from its conjugate of the antenna impedance. Okay, so when will be the maximum power will be transferred from the antenna to the load? Okay, the maximum power is uh, in the maximum power transfer theorem. You can say that uh, this is nothing but uh, the del uh, load impedance is equal to complex conjugate of antenna impedance. Okay, so in that case, whatever the maximum power that is received by the antenna that will be delivered to the load. Okay, so for example. Uh, the, the condition is uh, to receive the maximum amount or maximum amount of radiation from the antenna to the load is mm, the load impedance would be equal to complex conjugate of uh, antenna impedance. Okay, so what is the form of the ZA impedance is equal to R A plus J X A complex conjugate. Okay. So that is nothing but R A plus Yes. So RM is nothing but that M is antenna press. This can be replaced with R red S J S. Okay, so that A conjugate is equal to R A minus J X. Okay, let us see here. We know that what is the condition for the maximum transfer? Sudden is equal to sudden complex conjugate. Same place. To the value of ZL, the value of ZL is RL plus JX. RL plus JX. Okay, so it is RL plus JX is equal to what is the value of ZA? The value of ZA is what is the value of ZA? R radius minus JX. Yes, JX. Okay, so this one. Okay, so here we compare the real terms and Compare the imaginary terms RL is equal to R red, okay, and imaginary terms XL is equal to minus X, XL is equal to minus XL or XL plus X is equal to G, XL plus X is equal to G. Okay, so now uh, here in this uh, expression, this is my end, this is my receiving. Okay, so in this, the total voltage, the voltage induced uh, in the antenna, the voltage induced in the antenna is given by. So, you know that what is the relationship between the, what is the form of the electrical field? Electrical field is used to the units of electrical voltage per unit length. Okay, so unit per voltage per unit length. So the voltage induced in the antenna is given by the voltage is equal to V 
electro period. So where period is you plan continuous the electrical field. Okay, where is the electrical field at the point and real is the length of the Hertzian type. Okay, so length of the Hertzian type. Okay, so now the current the current traveling in the road is given as so I is equal to V by R. What are the two resistances we are having? Z and Z. Okay. So since okay, so it is equal to C by what is the value of Z Z already? We know that after division minus J and C plus R plus J the X. Okay. So from this, I is equal to C by two R because mm, R is equal to and the value of XL plus X is equal to G. So plus X is equal to G. Okay. So therefore the value of current I. The value of current I is equal to V O C by 2 R. Next. Power of the C by the load is given by given as C is equal to C is equal to I square R is equal to R I square R is equal to R that is IRMS means I can buy root to X square root to R period. Okay. So so what is the what is the form of the IM? IM is equal to VOC by 2 rate. Okay, so therefore V receive is equal to V receive is equal to in the place of IM I am replacing this one. Okay, so it is a whole square means that is nothing but VOC square. By eight R okay. So this is the form of the POC because the is equal to POC by two R Okay. So what is the form of our VOC? You know that the form of the VOC. The form of our VOC is equal to DL. The form of our VOC is equal to DL. The simple substitute here, therefore, power received to be equal to the square root of DL square. What is this DL? DL is the length of the Hertzian type of unit. R So this is power received by the load. Power received by the load. Okay, now the average power in Hertzian type. So this will be derived in the Next mean this uh, the average power of an Hedgian type is given as is given as the average is equal to the square by two theta of two theta of where theta naught is the intensity difference. Is intrinsic impedance that is equal to 120 by okay. So, therefore, the what is the form of the effective aperture? Uh, effective aperture or A is equal to P received by the average, P received by the average. Okay, so. This is the expression for P received. Let us consider this is K and this is P. Okay. So now substituting the values of A and P here. Okay. We'll get what is the value of P, P received? The value of P received is this one that is P square into PL square by K into R divided by P. What is the value of P average? The average value is e square by 2 theta. 
Ispari Ispari Bukat, Kansi, Wangsu, Kus, Ketor, Efek Duri, ya. Real Music Photo, Ita Mahatito, Ian Square Way, Four, Amar, Efek Duri, ya. Aperture, Antina, Aperture, Real Music Photo, Ita Mahatito, Ita Mahatito is nothing but Intensive, so, so next the radiation resistance. The radiation resistance in this expression. So the R R rated is radiation resistance. Okay. E is equal to next expression. E is equal to E times two to E square by four. Okay. So the radiation resistance of since we have considered the receiving antenna as H and dipole, <coughs> the radiation resistance of H and dipole. This also will be derived in the coming class. The time weight is given as 80 pi square into equal by lambda. It's very, very important. There is no derive that. The radiation resistance of H and dipole is equal to 80 pi square into equal by lambda. In the place of R radiation, simply substitute that. E is equal to tan R into TL square by 4 into ED by square into TL by lambda H square. So, lambda TL square is equal to and synthesis is equal to tan R into lambda square by 40 by square by 40. Therefore, A is equal to eta naught into lambda square by 30 by square. Okay. So, what is the value of eta naught? Eta naught value is 120. So, then A is equal to 120 by lambda square by 20 by square. Okay. So, here pi, here pi will get cancelled. Chico will get cancelled for is four eights okay so we get three by eight square by and the square by 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 square and the square by so we will just calculate it as e by e by two into um, lambda square by four by square by four by okay. So three by two means what is the value? Three by two is one point five into lambda square by four by. I can write this eight as two into four. Okay, so it is one point. Okay, so very very important thing we want to uh, remember. Directivity of directivity of the general code is one point five. Very very important. The directivity of the general code is one point five. This also will be the next class. Therefore, what is the relation of the number of part? A is equal to one point five into lambda square by four pi. Therefore, from this it is clear that. A is equal to 1.5 by lambda square by 4 by, but directivity of H and dipole is equal to 1.5. So, in the place of 1.5, it should be replaced with the directivity. A is equal to D into lambda square by 4 by. Therefore, directivity is equal to directivity is equal to A D 4 by lambda square. Okay, so directivity D is equal to 4 by A by lambda. This is the most important derivation we will use in coming next semester. So, and also all these expressions. So, D is equal to 4 by A by lambda. D is equal to this is the relationship between directivity D and effective aperture area E. This is the relationship between directivity D and. Uh, we will do some many problems in the next class. So, this is 
in this what are the things you want to remember here you want to remember that the directivity of h and i is equal to 1.3 and the radiation law of h and i is equal to 8 by square into dl by lambda 8 by square into dl by lambda okay so this is the so we have started from here uh, effective aperture area so it is the ability of an antenna to extract energy from the electromagnetic waves energy from the electromagnetic it is also defined as the ratio of power received in relate to average power density at that point okay now we have already bring the relationship between direct T and effective area ae okay so I have considered an antenna. Let us assume the electromagnetic waves are receiving. This is my receiving antenna, H1 diaper, and this is my low. So, maximum power transfer theta. The maximum of power that is received from the antenna will deliver to the load when it is that L is equal to complex form theta Z. Okay, so this is the equivalent circuit. Okay, so it's the things. Yeah. So, this is the final expression. Uh, this is the final expression which gives the relationship between directivity and effective aperture. This is the most important derivation in first unit.